all right, to cook, bake, you name it. We're covering tools and you need them in your house to cook and bake. All right. So my name is Alexis and I live here in Southeast coastal Georgia with my mom and my dog, Cooper. Cooper is actually here. Here's Cooper. There's Cooper. Hello, Cooper. Maybe if I embarrass him, he'll leave. Right. So anyway, yeah, he look, look, he wants to be petted. So, um, all right. So let's see. I hopefully I'm on the right camera. I think I'm on the wrong camera. There we go. I think we're on the right one now. Let's see. Ah, yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the right one. Let me see. Let's see if I take this way. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I'm on the right camera, y'all. That one. We want the one. All right, I think I'm on the right camera. Let's see if I get up and I leave. Yeah, I know. I'm on the right camera. All right, so come with me. We're into my kitchen. Cooper's having his breakfast here. Yeah, we get up. We have to feed the dog. Let the dog out. Let him in and feed him breakfast. But we're going to be baking my mom something. She asked me. We went grocery shopping, and she asked me. She goes, oh, can you make this for me? I said, yeah, I can make it for you. So anyway, we, hello, Daniel. Daniel, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. Hello, James Murray. How are you doing? So um, I haven't seen you go live at all. At all. All right, uh, let's see. So hopefully you're doing well up in New York. All right, so we're going to be doing some baking. I need to wash my hands. Let me put you, put us on the uh, tripod. I have my setup. I'll show you my little setup right here. We got the setup going right there. I got my tripod. I stand right here, and then we'll be cooking right there. I already have my, uh, my stove on, or my oven. My oven is at 350 degrees. We already heated that up. Hello, Terry. How are you doing? So let's put us on the tripod, wash her hands and say, ha sing happy birthday to those people born April 14th. Okay. So let's see, uh, rinse my hands off. Adele, soap in our hands and sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Everybody born April 6th, April 5th, 14th. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody born April 14th. Happy birthday to you. It's already Wednesday this week, right? All right, so um, sometimes I have to remember what day, what what day of the week it is, and then what what's the the, the new n number of the of the month, right? All right, so let's dry our hands off, and we're gonna. It's a really simple recipe. Um, it's a boxed one. I know y'all. You can do it from scratch. More power to you. More power to you. But when your mama, who's eighty-one years old, okay, what kind of what 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 kind of way? I know really. So anyway, this one here, uh, we're going to be making this box apple and cinnamon quick bread muffin mix. All right, it makes one dozen muffins, or you make the bread. All right. And so I thought I'd bring out our, our stoneware by Pamper Chuck that just came back into inventory, uh, which is this Pamper Chuck. It has a nice little weave on the bottom and it's a stoneware pan, all right, to make a loaf of, of, of the bread here. And this stoneware, this is a little bit different than the than the uh, stoneware that Pamper Chuck has been having out for 40 years. This stoneware here actually can be preheated in your oven We're, we don't need to do that for this cake but you can preheat this the new stoneware so that when you put a pizza crust in there it's going on a cold or a, a hot uh, stone it can also be washed with soap it can also be put in your dishwasher yeah can you believe that put, put your stoneware in the dishwasher or you can do it the old-fashioned way and just put the water on it and and your, use your scraper and get it off good morning mary may how are you doing hello k talks how are you doing all right yeah what a way what do you mean but a way to start your morning we're doing a cooking stream, so we have to we have to uh, wash our hands. So why not do two things at one one thing? We have to sing happy birthday twice to those people who are having a birthday in uh, April, and we got our hands nice and clean because I took everything out of the refrigerator. Remember, our refrigerator handle is one of the nastiest things that we have in our kitchen that we open and close our door handles and our and our thing because. Who knows where everybody put their hands before they went into that refrigerator, right? All right, and then I have an um uh, Ari did up something in my in my um, refrigerator that I need to pop over into the quick cooker and use it as a slow cooker today. So we're going to be doing that while that's on. So we're going to be doing this apple bread uh, mix right here. It calls for a half a cup of oil, a half a cup of applesauce, and two large eggs. All right. So 
let's flip this around so you can do a couple different things. You can give me a reaction, a heart, or a crying because you're not having this stuff at your house because you don't have the tools and you need the tools to bake, all right? So first thing that you need to bake, all right, is a bowl to put your stuff in because most of the stuff, uh, well, baking ingredients are a little bit wet and you need a bowl to put it in. And I use the, um, the batter bowl. All the tools that you see here are available for sale. I am an independent consultant for Pampered Chef and I sell these tools. These tools are available for sale. So don't be going out to Walmart and trying to say, well, I can get that bowl for two bucks at Walmart or at the, or at the thrift store, okay? It's not going to work for you. It's just not going to work for you. Plus, when you get me as your consultant, all right, and you get 40 years of Pampered Chef, the guarantee on there. Thank you, Mary, for the high five award there. And uh, so that's that's the thing. Mary has a lot. Mary has so much stuff. She's overflowing. She probably has a storage room just for her stuff because she recently moved. Hopefully, you downsize a little bit, Mary, okay? So so anyway, um, if you know somebody that needs Pampered Chef, please send them my way. I would so much appreciate it. I would even give you a little little, um, little, little gift if you sent them my way, especially if they wanted to host a party, okay? But y'all don't want to host a party, so you just buy it for full price. Everything is full price for you, all right? Only for you. Only, the, only those people that want to come over to me and say, hey, I think I want to host to get all those discounts. Hello, Diane Hernandez. How are you doing? Good morning. How are you? So anyway, buy it at full price here. Yeah, you, you have money. I know y'all do. I know y'all do. So anyway, uh, let's let's get this. Uh, let's just get the show on the road. Lots of my, uh, lots of my PC is still at my daughter in law's house. I thought they moved. All right. So anyway, let's flip this camera around. I thought y'all had to move. I don't. I don't. All right. Well, then get some into your house. Okay. You have neighbors and stuff like that that all cook. Everybody's been cooking and they're still cooking at home. All right, so we're going to open up our box. All right, you know me and my boxes. I don't do very well opening packages up. All right, yeah, look, 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 look. Alexis is not very good at opening boxes, all right? We already know that. Let's get our bag out. We can use this as a garbage bag, okay? And I'm, I'm not trying to open this with my... No, no, no. Don't do that, Alexis. You just get your scissors. These are scissors, but they're our Pampered Chef shears. And they actually cut through chicken bones, okay? This one here. And this is not going to disappear from your kitchen because your kids are going to say, where's the scissors, Mom? And they're never going to think of like, oh, it has a latch to clip. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, these will not disappear in your kitchen because you know how kitchen scissors just disappear. I know y'all do. All right. So put an emoji in the box, what you are drinking right now. Put an emoji in the box, what you're drinking right now. I need a drink of water. All right. So I can put water, water. Uh, it's not ice, Alexis. All right. There we go. Water. All right. Put an emoji in the box of what you are drinking. All right. I think there we go. And send. There you go. So let me know what you're drinking. All right. Diane is drinking coffee. Mary's drinking coffee. There's a teapot in there for you teetotalers, okay? All right, we got that open. <clears throat> I'm going to put in the wet ingredients first, which we're going to crack open. <laughs> hey, Daniel, Daniel's drinking coffee too. I haven't had a coffee. I don't drink coffee until I actually get most of this stuff done. Sometimes I'll drink it on screen with y'all. All right, there's two. Okay, so two. I have a brown egg and a white egg. I'm trying to use up my white eggs because my brother's chickens um, gave me a lot of eggs. So far, um, I'm watching my brother's uh, dog for the I know, seventh time um, in, in, in like, what, six months. He's taken vacations. So I'm watching Rom, Rommel and the sugar glider, which the sugar glider came out yesterday. I put my hand up to it. And I had, 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 and it walked on my hand and I thought, oh my God, is it going to bite me? Cause I'd never really touched a sugar glider before. And so <clears throat> I did that. And then, um, I'm going to get that smaller one. I like the small one. And then, uh, the chickens, he has five chickens. And right now I have a dozen of, of his beautiful chicken eggs in my refrigerator before they were very stingy on giving eggs, but wow, I got nice eggs. I got six eggs last, six eggs last night. No, five eggs. I got five eggs last night. Uh, and then we have oil, a half a cup of oil. All right. Just keep that right there. There we go. I already measured it out for us. I use a one cup prep bowl because I like to clean oil off of a glass and not a bowl. I'm going to put that right over there and we're going to just mix this up. Let's mix it up. Let's put that as our, there, there. All right. All right. So, so, uh, put an emoji in the box of what you're going to be having for lunch. Do you already know what you're having for lunch today? Do you, do you, do you plan your lunch or you're just going to take it for a chance? Put emoji in, in the box and let me know what you're having for lunch or you can type it in there too. But I thought the emojis would be really fun. Thank you, Terry, for the uh, stay safe award. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to just break up that egg oil and the um, applesauce. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Up. All right. So we're going to put the mix in. But before we put the mix in, I'm going to be putting in my pea pro protein. Yeah, I actually remembered, Mary, to get the pea protein out. Now, this one here, it looks like there's about two um, two, two of the sc scoops left. All right. Here's one scoop. I'm just going to dump it in because there's not a whole lot in here. Let's see. We're gonna, that's one. I want to get rid of this bag. We're going to do another one. Let's see. That, that, that might be a little bit more than... Ah, that looks like about another one. All right, we got that one done. Throw that one out. And we have another one right here. All right, I'm going to put another another scoop in. All right. Yeah. One scoop is enough serving. It's uh, just adding a little bit of protein. And my mom will never know. Shh, don't tell her we're putting protein in here. And of course, it looks like it didn't open that one very well. Let's do it again. Alexis and her packages, I tell you what. All right, we got no more protein. This is a Pampered Chef. For Alexis order was delivered on April 12th. Oh, my God. Containing groceries. Wow, that's pretty cool. My Alexa just told me something I didn't know. She knew it. She knew I had something delivered. That is spooky, y'all. All right, we're going to put four in here. There we go, four. All right. You can put as many as you want. Each scoop contains um, three uh, grams of protein in here. So it'll make you feel fuller longer. Plus then it makes it feel like, oh, you're, you're, you're sneaking in some protein. Because my mom, I know she doesn't get enough protein. I would actually put in more, y'all. I should put in six. I should put six in here. You're funny. Mama knows more than, than I know she does. M Mama, my, no. I think I add them two more. I'm going to add in two more, y'all. Because then that way, that way it'll be at least one and a half uh, grams of protein per serving. Because there's there's 12 servings in here. All right. There it goes. All right. We did six. We did six. Just put it in there. Right, Mary? All right. There we go. Shh. Don't say anything. <laughs> Coffee, says Terry. You're f <laughs> no, that Alexa knows. How does Alexa know I got something delivered here? Oh my God, that's so, that, that freaked me out. That's freaking me out, Mary. Okay, that Alexa knows. I wonder what else she knows. Good grief. All right, I gotta put this half in. Let's mix half of this up. Gently, gently. So just, I'm just doing a half of this right now because um, otherwise it's gonna, the, the powder's gonna go everywhere. All right, let's get this out. Okay. Trying to get it out of the whisk, of course. Let's get, get two hands. Two hands. You need two hands, Alexis. All right. There we go. Put that over here. There. I'm putting all my garbage in my my uh, bag, my box that we're making. There we go. We have the box right there. All right. That we're making. Rinse my hands off because I got powder all over it. And now get the tap out the whisk. You know me, I like to get everything out of here. I need that whisk. I need that what that tool that Pam Chef has that you can get it out of the whisk. Uh, I'll show it to you in a sec. Hello, I missed something. What what's freaking out? Oh, uh, my roommate's blender is loud. Oh wow. Um, no, the Alexa went off, and she told me when I had a pack package delivered, and she knew knew it was the food package. She knew it was a food package. What did we get that was food on the twelfth, which would have been a Monday. I don't know what we got on Monday. That's weird, though, okay? Uh, I'm trying to think of what was delivered on Monday. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, let's mix this thing up nice. There we go. All right, do I have all the ingredients in here? This is very, very thick, y'all. All right, let's get the thick. Let's get the bigger. Um, get, when you need the big job, let's get the big scraper out, okay? I, I love my little scraper, okay? But we have a bigger scraper, too. And there's actually a bigger one than this. All right. Uh, hey, Toby, how you doing? Your tea. My tea came out great. It's a little bit stronger. I'm not sure if I like that flavor. I, I'm really interested in trying some of the other teas. But once we get this in the oven, we can talk about that, okay, that we did yesterday. And that that um, broadcast, we did the um, cold brew coffee pitcher. Uh, see how it's not mixed down there. We just have to get it all mixed in. There we go. Yeah. Get it all mixed in. 
Yeah, it, it, I, I, I liked the way it, it, it flowered out, but the taste of that one tea was just very strong. And I did take the flower out of the, out of the picture. Okay, but right now we're talking about uh, baking products and what bake it, what you need to bake. And one is definitely a scraper. Okay, I see so many people in here with a spoon, and the spoon does not scrape the sides, y'all. Okay, so it's if it's one thing that you need is a bowl, a great bowl. This bowl can actually you can cook in here, uh, bake in here, like bake you can put it in the microwave, and um, you can actually put it in the freezer too and freeze in it. So it's a really good bowl to have, and it has a great handle on it. So y'all go out and like. You buy it from Walmart and you say, oh, yeah, it looks like a one like from Alexis, but it's not the Alexis bowl here. And you see me use this um, batter bowl all the time. It's probably in, um, pro I probably use it, I probably use it five out of seven days a week, this bowl. Okay, you can store in it. It also has a lid. You can store in it. I also have these mats right down here that I keep uh, down there because it's really easier to clean. Boy, this is a really thick batter. Well, I guess if it's going to be bread, it would be a thick batter, right? All right. I think we got it all mixed it together. My arm is starting to hurt, so I think it's done. All right. Got it all mixed in. Let's scrape down our sides and get everything out of there because we don't, it's good to the last drop, okay? We can even make a coffee this morning with y'all. All right. There we go. And I'm going to get my um, loaf pan because we're going to put it in the loaf pan. And it's going to take, it takes long with the loaf pan. And I, I, and I have this the oil left over in this cup. I'm just gonna spread a little bit of the oil in in here, just over it. There we go. Just to use it up, okay? Because it's good to the last drop. All right. Let's put that in the sink and spread this over. All right. So this is a cooking show, but I actually uh, sell all the tools that we're using today. This one here is the new uh, loaf pan by Pampered Chef, and we're gonna put the bread in here. On, since this one's not seasoned, uh, uh, your stoneware gets a very dark coating on it that looks like my my countertops or my um, uh, cabinets here. All right, so we got that. That's in there. And I'm actually going to put my bread right in here. Uh, sorry about the hand, but we got to put it in. There we go. Put all that in. There we go. Yep. All right. I didn't think it was going to be as dense as this, no. But this is my mom saw it at the grocery store, and she's like, "Hey, can you make this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I can make this for you." Okay, let's just tap it, tap it into the bottom, make sure there's no holes in there, and I'm going to scrape out the bowl now. All right there, we go. We saw some more in there. Get that off. All right. All right. So look how much I'm scraping out of this bowl, all right? So a lot of people leave all that behind. And if you scrape it, this is part of your ingredients, okay? And you don't want to, it's just like throwing money down the drain when you're doing bowls, okay? Scrape it out, okay? Keep it nice and clean. I see them doing it on TV, but I know why they're doing it on TV. They're like, oh, you don't need all those ingredients. Yeah, you need all those ingredients. All right, let's, that looks pretty good. It's a little rough looking. But it looks good, right? I, I meant the tea comes Monday. Oh, the tea comes Monday. Oh, oh, you bought some. Okay. So anyway, this here is our, our loaf pan. All right. I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm going to set the timer. Set the timer for, um, let's see what it says. Timer. Uh, Alexa, set the timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes. All right. Now. We got 45 minutes, y'all. We did a little bit longer than that than than what we should have, but all right. Next. All right, so we got that. We'll leave that there so I can show you what it is. It said throw it in the garbage and the all say, well, what kind of bread mix is it? It's from Aldi's. I got it from Aldi's. We, we, my mom and I went to Aldi's. We had to go to the bank down in Muley. And so that's the only place where there's Aldi's. Okay. Uh let me take that off. We'll put some water in our bowl. And let's say hello, hello. Good morning, Wayne Wiley. How are you doing? Hey, Toby. How are you doing? I am doing okay. How are you? I am doing well. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. I'm staying at home, y'all. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oops, that's too. All right. So I, let, I had a um, ham bone that needs to be used up. And so I put my ham bone with a bag of the freezer um, bits and pieces that we're going to throw away. And uh, I put that in the in the in the container 
with two bay leaves and three peppercorns. And I put in my in my uh, I put it in the refrigerator last night. I think I'm going to do it overnight, and I forgot to get up at ten o'clock and throw it in. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it in my slow cooker. A slow cooker is a pre or it's, I'm going to put it in the pressure cooker, but use the slow cooker function, which is this one right here. <sighs> this baby here. All right, this one here is our is a Pamper Chuck Quick Cooker. It is on sale, and I forgot where I put my price on this one, but it is a um, uh, hundred and it's a hundred and seven dollars. Let me look. Here we go. Okay, quick cooker. One sixty nine one sixty seven. It was two oh nine. It is now one sixty seven. And I know you can afford it because this thing is a blessing on earth, especially in the summer, because you can make dinners in here and not heat your whole house. Okay. It makes the best cheesecake in here. Oh, great soups, stews, everything, and it never gets hot. You can use it as a pressure cooker, but today we're going to use it as a slow cooker, all right? And I get my ingredients out that I had in my refrigerator. Because sometimes I cook without y'all, and I have all of my, my ham bone in here. I have the peppercorn, two bay leaves, uh, one whole uh, bag of vegetables I was going to throw away, and my ham bone. And I'm just going to Put it in here, all right? We're going to get the lid for it for the um, quick, for the um, uh, slow cooker and put that on there. Turn it over. And I'm going to do it for five hours today. Okay, time. Go up and start. Okay, just let it go. If this thing can go up to, um, I think, nine hours on there. All right, so I have my soup in here for tomorrow. We'll do the soup tomorrow but i'm doing this stock today so in about five hours i'm going to test this i can be probably go longer but this uh slow cooker runs on high and so i really wanted to slow cook for a few hours i can put it on on um uh the pressure cooker but i like that slowness that brings out the meat the flavor of the bone that's in there we use a quick cooker so much i didn't roast potatoes and carrots last friday for 45 minutes did a roast potatoes and oh you roast it in there I don't, I don't think I've ever done it that way. Um, I know you can do baked potatoes in here. I'm going to try and do the baked potatoes in here. They say it, it, it's a lickety split when you do it that way. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I know the cheesecake is the best in there. So I'm going to put this off to the side. All right. And because it's, it's just going to slow cook for the rest of the day. There we go. Leave it there. All right. So my stock is ready to go and you can do it in any slow cooker. And that was just from the bone that we had from Easter, the Easter bone I put in there. I had to get, use it or, or freeze it. So anyway, <sighs> Hey, Kimberly, hopeful. How are you doing? What are you doing? All right. So we got all that done. What else? We needed some water and uh, we can talk about, we can make an egg. I need to, I need, instead of eating uh, that muffin today, I need some protein in myself. And so we can do an egg. All right. Let's see. Uh, but here's, uh, this is, that's my stuff from the, the quick cooker I had to leave out. Whew. All right. Let's see. Let's have some coffee too. I'm working and listening. Glad to see you. Yeah. Kimberly helpful. I'm up today because my mom went at the muffins, the muffin bread. And I thought, well, I would get that for her. Um, cook that this this morning and show you how to bake it and just get it all together. Uh, I do have some pots and pans I want to show you because you know what? Pots and pans uh, and bakeware are, are to, two totally different things. And and we have what kind of, man, I'm, I'm like all over the place this morning, y'all. I need some more water. I need a cup of coffee, right? So anyway, put, put emoji in, hey, put emoji in the box how you're feeling today. Give me emoji. Are you tired? Are you energetic? Are you happy? Put an emoji to tell me how you're how you're feeling today. I need to get a cup of coffee. Oh, let's get a cup of coffee. Because we have we have about forty minutes left. Forty minutes. All right. Man, this smells so good. I can smell coffee all day, y'all. All right, so we got baking covered. All right, we got we have a vessel that we cook in. Pepper Chef has awesome uh, baking uh, baking items for sale. All right, and are you a baker? Are you a baker? Put a yes in. Put Hopefully, it didn't ruin my broadcast. 
Why do I have a 715 alarm going off? I have no idea. Oh, Terry, you're not feeling like that. Terry, Terry. I love baking. I love it. Okay, what kind? Because baking is a totally different uh, game, all right? And you do need, uh, like, different pot pans to put in your oven. Uh, let, what do you like to bake? What do you like to bake, um, uh, Deanna? Do you like to bake cakes, breads? Breads are, like, very... We, we've done a few breads here. We should do another bread. But Alexis is on a diet. I'm on a seafood diet, I think. Every, every, all the food I see, I want to eat. All right, let's put that back. Getting our coffee in. Lots of cookies and brownies. Okay, okay, cookies and brownies. Those are the cookie part. Oh my gosh, we have great cookie pans that slide right off the edges. Don't have them. Uh, the people seem to love my banana bread. Uh, you know, I had I have the. Mom saw this thing, and so I'm, ma I'm making it for her, okay? It's probably not the best, but you give your mom, that's 81, whatever she wants, if she wants to eat it. But we did put in some protein in there. Uh, bakeware by Pampered Chef. All right, so we have a lot of stuff that's for bakeware. We have all the pants, pots and pans that you ever need to know. We have little muffin things, brownie. We have the brownie bites. This is really cool. Deanna, do you have a brownie bite, br brownie pan? This one here is a brownie pan where you can make other little square things in it. And then this is the bite pan. You get 24 brownies in this one, and that's 12 in that one there. Awesome. The best thing. Hey, same. Goes fast in our house. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I have attempted muffin muffins a few times, but off, but often not successfully. Really? Now, uh, Deanna, is that Deanna said that? No, wait. I have to attempt it. Muffins are great. I mean, I, I've done the healthy muffins with the oatmeal and the bananas. They come out really good. Now, they're, they're not like your, the like this bread here. They're not like that. They're not like cake-like. But they are oatmeal ones. They come out great all the time. And we did a lemon one, too. So, um, Pans by Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef has all your bakeware that you'll ever need, to need all right? It has many, um, many, it has donut, um, donuts and the donut holes. I don't bake, but I want to start. I used to make bread all the time. I do Paula Dean brownies. Oh, we love, oh, remember when I, when Bryce was here? We used to do brownies, I think, once a week when when Bryce was in the house. Uh, talking about Bryce, I did talk to him the other day. He's doing good. He's doing really good. Let me see. They only have like, um, I think he says four or five weeks left of school, and that's it. He's still doing good in class. My son, we're talking about Bryce, he's 19. He's at the University of Georgia. They still don't know if he's going to be living in the fraternity house or living on the street house, okay? We'll just call it the street house. The fraternity house or the street house. Uh, they're still trying to work that out. But they did say that if they need to break the lease uh, on the street house, the fraternity will pay for the, the, the deposits on the street house, which is, that was really nice. That was really nice. I don't bake, but I want to start. Okay. All right. There we already got that. Sometimes I see the things and it moves up and it's the same one. Hello. For, hello, Blueberry. You were in a couple couple broadcasts with me last night, weren't you? Did you get to go watch Sky News and uh, Scott Goulet with uh, Front Page News? News Front Page. Talk about Arizona. This is the strangest thing, y'all. This is like you're sitting in my house. I'm having a cup of coffee with y'all while we're cooking bread. And, and doing our, trick, our our ham stock for tomorrow's um, beans, bean soup, okay? Um, yesterday, I got the weirdest phone call. I was I had just come back from walking out. I sat down, and I get a phone call. And it was a, a, a dress, like a number I didn't know. And I thought, well, let me answer it. You know, for some reason, it said answer this phone call. And I so I answer it because it wasn't a, a 570 number. My, my cell phone number, if I recall, it's 570. It's a Pennsylvania number, but I live here in southeast coastal Georgia. I'm not sure why this thing is making noise. Oh, I think I have water. I think there's condensation on the bottom of it. That's why. Um, all right. So I answered the phone and it was a lady from Arizona and it was, she was an older lady. I didn't, I didn't know how old until she told me her age. And, uh, she goes, Oh, I'm, I'm looking to buy a, um, uh, the black thing that makes dressing, and it has a spiral thing in it. 
and uh, the pampered chef t told me to call you. So this is really weird because when, when you're a director, pampered chef sends you some leads. Okay. Never by phone like this. Okay. Never. I've never, this is my first one ever by phone. Usually they send you an email saying, Hey, call this person. They, they're interested in pampered chef and then you call them. Right. And so this lady got, had my phone number. I was like, okay, she has my phone number. She got nothing. If you call me or anything like that. And I haven't had, I've never had anybody from HAPS or Periscope or even Facebook that saw me and called me because my number's everywhere. And, um, uh, so anyway, she called and she wanted, she wanted the measure, mix and pour, but she wanted the old one. And if I've been around for five years with Pampered Chef. Okay. And so it's a, it's a long thing and it has a little black and it has like a long, uh, sh it wasn't very good. I didn't like it very well. Okay. Cause one, uh, the, my little sp spiral thing would f sometimes fall off and I was like, okay, I would use it once in a while. And you know me, I don't do salad dressings. Okay. But the new one, I like the new one and the new one can be used for multi-purposes. The new, the new, um, let me see if I have it in here where we have the salad. It should have it in here. So anyway, the new one is a, um, more, uh, ergonomical, uh, ergonomic. Is that a word? I wish I could find it on here. So anyway, I said, Oh, well that one's been discontinued, but this other one's a lot nicer and I think you would like it a lot better. Right. And I'm trying to see where it's at on here. Uh, anybody know what page it's on when I'm looking for the, me the uh, measure mix and pour. All right. It should be under salads, but, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let's see if I'm looking for it. Let's see if I can find it this way. Then there's salads there. No, not salads there. You should look for it. So anyway, it's only, it was a small item. It's aeronomically. There you go. Aeronomical. It just fits your hand really good. And I, I, you know, I don't even know where I can grab it. Let me see if I have it over here. I'm trying to find it really quick for you. Uh, not, not there. I think it's out in the garage. All right. So anyway, it's, uh, whew. Oh, here it is. Stop looking for everybody. I found it here. So it's this one here. This is the measure, mix and pour. All right. And it has a snap closure to it and it screws on. All right. So, and there's two salad dressings on this one. There's a uh, creamy dressing and a vinaigrette on the other side The base, the basics. And then you can add to your, to your salad dressings on that one. All right. And so it's a really cute little, um, a tool if you like to have homemade salad dressings, which everybody should be making homemade salad dressings and not uh, out of the bottle, out of the store. Now, I do do the blue cheese, okay? That's the only one. That once in a while, my mom gets another salad dressing in there. I'm like, it usually expires before you use it. So anyway, because uh, we don't do a whole lot of salads in our house. Because one, if I was doing a salad, I just spr I spritz the, um, the use of kitchen spritzer with the olive oil in it. And I sprinkle a little bit of, of uh, say, rice wine vinegar on there and I do blue cheese on it. And that's my blue cheese dressing there. All right. Very simple, easy to do. Uh, but this lady wanted this. All right. And I was like, okay. So I said, she, she called me from a landline, which most, most old folks, folks have a landline. She goes, I should get rid of this landline. It's costing me money. So anyway, she was 91 years old. This lady is 91 years old and bought this $18 little item here, $18. Okay. And, uh, she wants it for Christmas. And I said, cause I was just, I was just sitting down doing some stuff for mother's day, right? Cause mother's day is coming up and you all need some mother's day presents. Okay. So, uh, uh, she, she said, I'm, I said, Christmas, I'm said, I'm just thinking about mother's day and nurses week and, and teacher appreciation and graduations are all coming up in, in, um, uh, May. Okay. Hey, Aiden, how you doing? Good morning, Crystal Lee. And so, uh, I was like trying to do packages of what people can purchase for their moms or graduation people, or even, um, uh, their, their teachers. Okay. Thank you for cheering you up. I don't know if you're cheering you up. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just here talking away about my phone call yesterday from this 91 year old lady and her husband. And, uh, they've been living in the house in their same house for 25 years. I mean, I'm talking on the phone with this lady getting her order and it was the sweetest thing. And then she gave me her, her cell phone number and I texted the picture of what it looks like. She goes, yeah, that looks good. Okay. And I said, this is going to be so much better for you than the old one because this, this new one here, you can actually put, um, like if you're having brunch and you need a, another container for like orange juice, you can put your orange juice in here. You can actually put your creamers in here and put it on your table and it'll look really nice. So I like, 
I like stuff that you can use multi-purpose as stuff. I just had vanilla and coconut latte. Oh man, you go, you go, you go. I'm still trying to lose that same two, three pounds since you lost your 30 pounds. I'm like, y'all, Alexis is eating everything on her son. How the tea was good. I'm going to show it to you. Hold on a second. So yesterday I did a uh, presentation on the cold brew um, pitcher. Okay. The cold brew pitcher. I took the, the flour out and this is what's left of the tea. Okay. I left it at room temperature. Y'all. It tastes good room temperature as it does hot. All right. So um, we did that and I took the flour out. And it says you can reuse it. Now they didn't tell you what you do with the flour after you take it out. All right. So I'm going to try and do another one probably today. Um, but this is the flower and it does a stand up. See that? The flower. And it has a like little, little flower thing. Isn't that the cutest thing? And it is in a knot down here. Okay. So I just put it in a nice little bowl and I left it like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So anyway, so that's, that's that. And, and this is from Amazon. Okay. But you need to get the pitcher, get the cold brew pitcher, because you know what, if you don't like tea, you can put a hot coffee in here. Okay. Or you can put, um, uh, make cold brew coffee best ever. The difference between, uh, doing coffee, like hot water is the tannins in it. And it makes it, it's a more, um, like bitter aftertaste, but when you just let it cold brew, it, it sort of eliminates that, that harshness, you know, that first, you know, you know what I'm talking about? The acidic level, level is different, I guess. So anyway, you put that in here and this can be used. You can infuse um, different types of fruit in here. If you want strawberries and maybe, um, uh, let's see, uh, spearmint in here, mint in here. That would be really nice. Different water flavors and stuff like that. So uh, I thought when I saw Darby Jones um, do her um dessert on haps here she showed us this tea blooms and i went on amazon of course you know because that's where you can get it you know not that i'm an amazon fan or anything like that but you can get all these different blooms okay and it's just called tea bloom okay tea bloom all right and you can order them and there's fruit flavored ones which this is the one for fruit but there's also one with berries in it like blueberries strawberries that, that different types of berries and so this one here has apple cinnamon tangerine spice pomegranate strawberry Acacia berry, berry, pineapple, orange, mango, vanilla, melon, peach, and then this lichen. And I thought, well, I, I thought I'd do this lichen first. This one's pretty darn strong, y'all, for tea. It's very, very strong. And uh, so, anyways, that's that could be this could be a beautiful Mother's Day present, or you can actually buy it ahead of schedule and have a beautiful Mother's Day brunch for your uh, loved lady, okay? Or guy, whoever you want, but usually it's a lady, okay? So anyway, you can do that and have it have it already done up for her, okay? And say, look, at, I got this for you and, and have it uh, beautifully presented so you can show her how it's all done, yeah? But it does take about 10 minutes for that flower to sink uh, and uh, do its magic, okay? So that that's one gift for Mother's Day that is just... Uh, and this would make this would make a great office gift if you're looking for like teacher uh, maybe a cheap teacher uh, coffee break room type gift. This would be great. Put this, all right. Put this, this, and maybe a bag of coffee in there. Oh, that would be a great gift for a teacher's uh, lounge area. Okay, or a nurses' lounge, or if you are having graduation people, uh, kids. You know they're going to be drinking coffee, right? They're already drinking coffee in college. So give them this with, with their little bag of coffee and, a, and maybe a $100 bill for them, okay? Or a couple, you know, a little check in there. They would really appreciate that, okay? Then, then you feather have it in there. You're teaching them to make it at home too, all right? So let me know what you're drinking. I'm drinking coffee and I'll put it in the chat box. What, what, give me an emoji of what you're drinking at home right now. Are you having uh, cold coffee, hot coffee? Are you having a beer or wine? Because it could be that if you're on the other side of the world. I am having a cup of coffee with y'all. There we go. And send. There you go. So do uh, show me emoji. I'm still top commenter. I don't know why I'm top commenter. I didn't go into hardly anybody's scopes yesterday. But I'm still, I guess, talking to one person in one scope. I don't know. I was talking to Vic Vicky last night. Vicky Fitch out in California. Orange juice. Okay. Blueberry. Blueberry's doing orange juice. I am um, doing water and coffee, y'all. I didn't drink my whole water yet, but we're getting there. All right. We need to do a uh, an egg for me. All right. And uh, guess what egg I'm doing? 
I love this egg. I love this egg. Uh, you know, eggs are my favorite thing, right? And my my uh, brother's um, uh, uh, chickens laid a lot of eggs. They already gave uh, like over a dozen eggs because I think I ate about four of them. So they gave it, they they already did about sixteen eggs since um, Sunday when I went to visit them, or, or Saturday night when I went to visit. Saturday night they had a few there too. So anyway, we're gonna be doing. Um, let me wipe this oil up. There we go. Uh, we're going to be doing the eggs. We're going to do eggs. All right. And I'm going to show you something. All right. All right. Right here is almost all the new, all the pots and pans by Pampered Chef. All right. I have them all stacked. Remember I told you um, that you can, don't stack them unless you have something between them. Well, Pampered Chef has a scratch resistant pots and pans. Okay. So you can use a little metal on here. I wouldn't cut a steak in here or anything like that, but you can use metal utensils. Most of the times when you have uh, your cookware, you cannot use metal unless it's stainless steel. All right. Stainless steel is the only one you're really supposed to use metal on. Okay. So anyway, this one here is the Pampered Chef cookware line. All right. Cookware line. And you see, I could stack them up. Normally, I keep these three right here on my on my countertop. These are my three that I use the most. This one here is a 10-inch fry pan, 8-inch fry pan, and the 2.5-quart stock uh, sauce pot, all right? And it comes with a lid. And it also comes with <clears throat> one has another lid. We have another lid. <clears throat> there we go. This lid here fits this pot, all right? So these are the three that I use most often. All right. Now take these out. All right. This one here is sold individually. This is the eight inch fry pan. Great for eggs for two, three, uh, two or four people. You can actually uh, cook, make a cookie in here. This one fits in our air fryer. Okay. They, you can see the handles are off so that I don't have, that's all the space it needs. It does not have all these handles coming out. All right. Again, it's, it's scratch resistance. You have a little bit of scratch in here, but it will not crack, chip or peel. And if it does, let me know. And it is, um, warranty uh, for a lifetime. It is made in Germany. This is aluminum on the bottom of it. So it, it distributes heat really easy. It's four layers of titanium in here. Awesome pots and pants. All right. So that goes over there, but there's a set. This one here is a set that comes together. All right. And my friend Sherry was like, I was trying to tell her that this here is one set. All right. It's only available as a set. It's the five, five and a, and a half, um, uh, quart, uh, stock pot, the 10 inch fry pan and the two and a half quart sauce pot. This is the basic set. So if somebody's going into a new house, this is a set you want. All right. And this lid fits both the fry pan Okay, if it's the fry pan and if it's the sauce pot. Perfect. All right. Best $450 you'll ever spend. All right. Now this may be $450, but it's gonna last you 45 years. Okay. So if you do 45 years, it's only $10 a year, $1 a month. Okay, you got the de deal. It's well worth its investment because you're gonna be using it all the time. All right, so we're gonna put that over there because I'm gonna be using this this pan right here. And this can go over on the other side. All right, so there we go. Because you're always needing a deep pot for something, and uh, that's for soup. This one's for like mashed potatoes, and then you have eggs, more stuff here. You can do this anything, fry up anything on this one here, all right? And then they have two other uh, pans right here, and I didn't bring out the lid for this one. This one here is a grill pan. Grill pan. Gets the grill marks on it, all right? There you go. And then we have the 12-inch uh, uh, skillet, and this one comes with the lid also. And the handle, the one handle fits everything. So this handle here over and back fits on here like this. Woo, there. It's two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars for this pan right here. That has a lid to it that's in my other in my other room. All right. And I'm gonna put the same handle right on my finish one. There we go. One handle fits them all. All right. So let's put this back. All right. Pots and pans. Let me put this over here. I'm gonna put this on the other room. Okay, I saw the lid. I've left the lid in the one area. All right, so we're going to be doing eggs right here. I'm drinking hot tea with milk. I used to drink hot tea with milk when I was a little kid. My mom used to give us tea with milk in it, and uh, that brings back memories from, from way back. Let's see if I can rinse this one off. I have something on it. All right, there we go. All right. 
All right, who's in the house here? We have a few people, but I cannot see anybody unless you talk to me, okay? And sometimes I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm talking to air on, on HAPS, all right? So we're going to use a 10-inch fry pan, all right? I'm going to get my two eggs that I've had out. And you can tell the chickens lay different size eggs because we have the jumbo egg and we have the little egg. <laughs> little egg, jumbo egg. <laughs> <laughs> Two different sizes on eggs from those chickens, I'm telling you. All right, so we got that. Let's get our sprayer there and here. All right. Uh, me. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we're gonna we're gonna um, divide up our eggs. We're gonna put our egg whites in the whipped cream maker. Yeah, this makes whipped cream and butter really good, but it also frosts up the eggs. All right, and this is like twenty five dollars. Well worth your investment in this little tiny piece because it makes the best whipped cream ever. All right, so we're gonna um, break up our egg and we're gonna put our yolk in one. Let's see if I can put my yolk in one. Open it up and we're just gonna go back and forth. There we go. And put your yolk there. We're going to do the same thing with this one here. Don't worry if your yolk breaks. There we go. And this one should be a big one. There we go. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a big one. All right. There we got it. Got it. All right. Got it. All right. We're going to mix this one up. Uh, let's get that little whisk. We're going to put in about one. Uh, let's do a teaspoon and a half of water. Okay. Teaspoon and a half of water. There we go. And I'm going to whisk up my egg yolks and a little bit of water. There we go. I use a stainless steel whisk. Do that up real easy. And we got our egg whites in our whipped cream maker. And we're going to frost this baby up. Alexa is going to get her arms a workout. All right. So tell me, where are you in the world and what temperature do you have today? I'm going to ask Alexa. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit. 60. Today, expect a high of 88 degrees. 88. Hot. It's going to be hot today here. All right. All right. Tell me where you're coming in from the world. All right. And what temperature you have. And you see this is magically foaming up, right? It takes about a minute. Anybody there? Hello from Tucson. Hey, Blueberry, what, what's your temperature out there today? I know it gets hot out in Tucson. You're probably as hot as we are. Boy, y'all are quiet. Everybody left me. Everybody left. All right. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know who's here or not. This funny thing on hats. All right. All right. Done. That what the two egg whites are whipped up to be frothy right here. Okay. We're gonna open this up and let's get our mini skinny scraper. All right. Bring that out, put that right down. Could have went a little bit longer, but that's okay. All right, got them all out. Notice I did not start my stove yet because we want to keep it all, get it ready to come out, okay. There's your whip uh, egg whites, all right. We're gonna put our thing here. <laughs> Hey, D Bitsy, thank you for ask, uh, for responding. It's 47 Fahrenheit and it's going to rain in Arkansas. It's going to be 58. Wow. In Arkansas? I thought Arkansas was like Louisiana and and um, Mississippi. Warm, hot. All right, so we're going to put, here's our pan. We're going to turn on our oven and our, our stove. And I'm going to use my kitchen spritzer with a little bit of oil. This is a nonstick pan, but give your give yourself a break and put some oil down there, okay? Because it makes it glide a lot easier. We're gonna turn on our stove and we're gonna automatically add in our our egg uh, yolks, okay? Just get a little hot. Today is gonna be 87, says Blueberry in Tucson. Oh, you're you're hot with us. 
All right, so we're gonna put in our egg yolks on the bottom of here. There we go. Let's see if I can spread it, get all that out. There we go. My stove is uneven again. I think we had earthquakes here or something. Not. All right, let's put that down. And we're going to add in our egg whites right on top. Just add it right on top. And I think I spread it out just a little bit too much my egg yolks down there. Don't worry if it spread too much. It's the first time it spread a lot on me. All right. We're going we're gonna to remedy that in a second. I've got some more in here. There you go. Spread that out. Work quickly, okay, on this one. Don't let it sit there too long. We're going to pull in our, our egg. Let's see if I can pull that in just a little bit. It's not going to pull in, is it? Nope. I'll turn my stove down so I'm too high. Uh, I'm going to try and put, pull it in just a little bit. Because I have it spread out just a little bit too much. There we go. Well, this is one way to fix it, right? There we go. We got it. I'm going to make it round, right? All right. Get your lid. Okay. And put your lid on it. There we go. All right. So we have our, our egg on the bottom and our whites on top. All right. And keep it on a medium, medium, medium. Um, uh, number probably, I don't know, four or five on here. All right. So you're getting, you're getting a double presentation here. We have our, our um, apple cinnamon uh, muffin bread in the oven right now, but we're doing an egg for myself so I can have some protein for my breakfast this morning, okay? And we're doing, this is like the fluffiest omelet ever. All right, so all you do is separate your egg whites and yolks, froth up your egg whites, all right, and then um, put your, turn on your stove, put a little oil in your pan, put in your egg yolks, and then top it with your egg whites. Put a lid on it. The lid on it cooks the, the yolk from the top down, all right? And again, this is the best little pan ever, but you need a pan with a lid to do this, all right? All right, let me see. Hello, Haps kicked me out, says Terry. 53 degrees, 76 today. Okay. Hey, Terry over on YouTube. All right. And this is a kitchen spritzer. It sprays out oil. I have avocado oil in here because avocado oil cooks at a higher temperature than uh, olive oil. All right. And I have two of them. I have this one here and I have one with olive oil in it. All right. There's that. <laughs> Drink up some coffee while it's warm. All right. And this is going to puff up uh, the egg, the uh, frothy egg whites rise when you cook it with the, with the steam in here. Okay. Let's see what time it is. Um, how much more time we have. Let's put that there. Put that there. Oh, it's looking beautiful. There we go. Off center. There. And I'm going to get, need to get out my um, cooling rack. If you're a baker, y'all know that y'all need a couple cooling racks in your house like four of them, at least four if you're a good baker, because you're always um, in and out. All right, so I don't know why Haps kicked you out, Terry. It's been, it's done that to me also. It's also done it while it's broadcasting. All right. Alexa, how much time do we have on the timer? We have 10 minutes left. Oh, we have 10 minutes. Minute timer. Well, we have a long time yet, y'all. So this is nicely cooking up, and again, it's on medium, medium low heat. And uh, I'm trying not to scorch my bottom of my egg. I think I may have had it on too high. All right, let's get a plate out. Okay. Because we're going to eat our egg while we're here. All right. And it's, it's uh, you can tell when it's done uh, because the egg usually touches the, the um, lid itself. All right. And that's usually when it's done. All right. You can see it rising up on here. Once you open the lid, uh, it will deflate a little bit. So if you are cooking this for a loved one, like your kids, you really want them to be there and see how puffy it is. All right. And this is a sandwich. This is a uh, an egg that you can actually eat up with your hand. All right. So uh, let's see what else. Whew. All right. So what's for dinner at your house? Who's having? Who already has dinner planned out uh, for 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 you? 
I'm, I'm thinking I'm either doing um, sausage and potatoes. We're doing some kind of sausage and potatoes today. So sausage, <clears throat> some sausage, some onions and potatoes sound really good. I think that's what we're having today. I may have to have an early lunch and cook that. I also want to do butternut squash soup. I'm really hungry for butternut squash soup. Okay, so there is a point where it's it gets too much steam, and then you'll see it automatically deflate in your in your um, in your uh, pan. All right. So when you open this up, you're going to see it's already touching the top right here, and you're going to see how how fluffy this rised up. Okay. And let's put that there. Turn off my stove, and I'm going to get a nice little spatula. I have another one out. Here we go. And we're going to lift this right up. It should come right up because it's a uh, non-stick pan. And you can see it flips right over. Woo! And break it in half. And voila. You have the best, fluffiest omelet ever. Now, we need to put some salt and pepper on here. But you have the, the fluffiest omelet. Okay? Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. You're having rotisserie chicken. Oh, my goodness, Mary. That sounds really good. Are you making that? Or are you are you um, buying the ch chicken at, at, at where you work? Because don't they have chicken there? This is the best omelet ever, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Let's put that in the sink. Get some salt and pepper. Uh, salt and pepper makes a great uh, housewarming gift. All right. Salt and pepper shakers. Okay. If you're looking at somebody that's moving and they want to, um, you want to give them a, a housewarming gift, salt and pepper shakers make a great gift, y'all. Same with uh, anyone... <laughs> Makes group gifts at, at work gifts also. There go. For kids moving into a new apartment, mm -hmm. every time they pick up that salt and pepper shaker, they're going to think of you. All right, let's put some pepper on here too. All right, and now we can eat our, our here. Blah, what do you mean blah? Blah on this? This is the best. This is like the best, y'all. Look, this is like, oh my god y'all this is the blueberry don't knock it don't knock it until you try it y'all blueberry we're gonna pick this up and you're gonna see alexis eat this with her hands with her hands y'all look i'm not kidding ya. Mm. this is good look i got stuff all over me <laughs> <laughs> at the chicken stands they're the best and i'll get the chicken mix. yep that's that's a really good way of getting chicken is from the you know sometimes mary do you ever notice like the price of a full chicken like a, uh, a chicken that you buy in the store it's like eight bucks you can buy it already made for like when it's on sale for like six bucks go and get yourself a couple of chickens right mm. Oh, it's salt on here. I'm telling you, this is the best. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is the best egg ever. We can cut it with a knife too, okay? You always say, "Oh my God, Alexis is eating in front of us today." Yep, I'm eating in front of you. We can cut it with the, we can cut it with a knife. It does cut with a knife. You can see it cuts right nice. It looks like lemon meringue pie when you cut it with the with the knife. Looks like lemon meringue pie. All right. This is good. I didn't scorch it too bad either. Five dollars at Costco. Wow. We don't have a Costco near us. All right. The nearest Costco or Sam's Club. I forget which one. Is about an hour south in Jacksonville. It's on the south side of Jacksonville, so we don't have one here. We, um, you can get rotisserie at at Walmart. I really don't buy them at Walmart. My brother does for his dog, and you can get them at um, Publix too. Okay, <laughs> that's too good. Oh my gosh, that is so good, y'all. Need some coffee to wash it down. Sam's rotisserie, rotisserie is the best, says Mary. Terry says she's going to have pork chops. Uh, what else? Either pork chops, casserole, or air fried pork chops with sides. Hmm. Let's make, let's make up, let's see what Terry's going to make 
how how do you think uh, Terry should cook her um, pork chops? I've never heard of pork chop casserole. Is that where you just dump stuff on it and you bake it? You know, I don't really do too much at Walmart on the, on the on their meats. I don't buy hardly anything unless it's like Tyson Tyson um, um, pork roast or pot roast. It's already done up. It's already pre pre packaged. I don't buy anything from from Walmart. Rarely, rarely do I buy from Walmart on that side. I usually buy cans, canned stuff from Walmart. I only go to Sands because I work there. <laughs> yes. Oh, are they really, Mary? Oh, that's, oh, really? That's interesting to know. So Mary works at Costco, y'all. And she, what are you doing now there? Stocking shelves or cashing out or what? Uh, she does the, she's the lady that, that, uh, sells you all those little appetizers at the end of the aisle. And they're like, here, would you like to have this? I think that'd be a great, I think, I would think I'd be, I would love that job, Mary. That would be a great job. I can do that. I work at Sam's, not Costco. Okay. You work at Sam's. To me, they're interchangeable, Mary. It's the same thing. Just a different name on it. Uh, I, which one belongs to Sam's? Sam's belongs to Walmart, right? Sam's is a part of Walmart. Does Costco belong to somebody? Is that what? Is Sam's part of Walmart? One of them is. Mm-mm-mm. mm 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 Somebody's on here. Aiden. Aiden's on here. Hi, Alexis. Let me... I'm going to... Bring myself on the screen. Hello, everybody. Hey, Aiden. Another How you doing? Look. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. How are you? You okay? Cheers. Yeah, I'm doing good. Let me switch the camera around a minute. I'm a bit close. Thanks for coming on Very and joining. Noisy. Walmart is owned by Sam. There you go. Sam's and Walmart. Sam's and Walmart. The way I think about it is Sam's has a blue label and, and Walmart's blue. So... And I don't even know what color Costco is. <laughs> no, this is uh, Cafe Nero. Cafe Nero. Are you still there? I thought you just ate that. I'm just heading home. I've just been... I walked around the shops. There's a few people about. It's quite busy. So I thought, okay. well, a lot of people are not wearing the masks. And I was like, mm, I'm getting out of it. I'm going home. So this is <laughs> the first... It's just the first day that opened so up busy. over yesterday. On the road, it is so, so busy. Like, if you just look now, just there's lorries, there's obviously businesses and things, but all the cars and taxis, there's loads of taxis. I've never seen so many. So, <laughs> I, I'm happy to go. I'm, I'm heading home. I'm a, I was tempted to go in the shop, but because that's where the IKEA is, you see, where I've just come from up, up there. That's where the IKEA is. So, everyone's going to IKEA, and I'd never seen the car park full for at least 12 months. All right, so is today the first day it opened up, or was it two days ago? When when did... Um, uh, that was uh, Monday. It was on Monday. Monday. I need to get my hair cut still. Look, it's crazy. Yeah. My you're hair is to... crazy. Yeah, you need to make a call. Call, we get off here. Call and get an appointment. Look. It looks good. It looks great. I'm going to show you the views here, Alexis, because this is, this is some of the best views. If you look over there. Oh. Let me, I'll come around this side and you'll you'll see it a little bit clearer. Yeah, it's like pasture land. <laughs> yeah. Although there's no sheep, there's no sheep or animals or although huh. if you watch that horse video back, I did do you know on Sunday when I went to I went around Gilderson where I live and uh, into the fields and the countryside and there was the horses that were there. And the horse did its business like literally 10 minutes after I came on, which was quite fun. Oh, I, I don't think you're going to be able to I don't think I'm going to get past that, but you can kind of see. If I zoom in a little bit, you might be able to see some of the trees. No, you're not going to be able to see it very well, but like, when I get across this road, I'll show you and I'll okay. zoom in. All right, so we're going to get the I got to get the thing out the I got to get the apple um, uh, bread out of the out of the oven. Okay. All right, yeah. and then okay. uh, we're going to go back go. and read green. some we'll comments here. So we we'll have uh, Terry. Okay. All right, hold on a second, Aiden. Hold on, you walk. Okay. Don't talk. All right. Um, uh, Terry said she's going to do a, a, a pork casserole with bacon on the top, on the bottom, rice, pork chops, cream of mushroom soup, and it's so good. 
I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm not a casserole person, but I've I've seen that before. All right, let me see. And then uh, Mary says the Sam's Walmart are the same sorry, corporation. Just, hold on, second aid. Hold on, oh, sorry, hold on, you, hold on. Just stand still. Uh, Sam's is owned by Walton sibling, and Walmart is owned by the other Walton sibling. Okay. And Terry says I rarely shop at Walmart, especially now that it's mostly self checkout. Yeah, it is, and I won't. And I don't work there and don't get paid to pack my own groceries. <laughs> exactly. I'm very stubborn, says Terry. Terry, you should go live and, and, and broadcast how you're doing that. You can come here live on half and share out to your uh, VIP page, your profile, and your business page on, on Facebook. Uh, you aren't alone on, on in that, t says Terry. I know I don't like, I, I don't like doing the self-checkout either. Do you get paid to pump your own gasoline? No, we don't. But we used to be able to do it for free. All right, let's get that thing out. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Let me, we, uh, we actually have an extra five minutes, a little bit less. I'm going to go in and put my cake tester in and make sure it's done. Okay. It should be done. That was the view, by the way. <laughs> it is nice. All right, hold on. I, can, I oh. got to look at it. There you go. <laughs> So obviously this is the motorway, so the motorway comes off here, and then it goes into the retail park area. But I just this these are some of the best views over over this way. It's such a nice day. It's, the sun is shining. It's it's a little bit cold, but in that sun it's quite warm. But it's not obviously as hot as where you are. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not really like hot. It's going to be a hot day today. So. All right. So we got the banana, um, at, um, banana apple bread done. That um, looks nice, Alexa. Yeah, we could we could have done it in the muffin tins, but the muffin tins would only t they would have taken like probably twenty minutes to cook. Versus this one took a little bit longer. And I thought, well, let's just do it in the bread pan using this stoneware because stoneware is brought in. Uh, it's the the line that was brought back this month by Pampered Chef. It was uh, on temporary stop sale because they couldn't make enough to keep it in inventory. I think full service gas stations should be in existence. Elderly and disabled would benefit from them. They certainly should be, or at least have like one of the pumps self self or um, um, uh, like command area. I think you're right on that. Uh oh, are they beeping at you? Oh, I don't know what happened in there, guys. Sorry about that. Are they beeping at you? I think they're beeping at you. <laughs> it's yeah, this is really so nice. Pretty. Okay. So anyway, I'm almost done. It is five minutes to eight. All right. So I kept it at oh my goodness, I kept it right at one hour. I'm gonna put the mic on, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna drop you off, Aiden. Because <laughs> I want to end my broadcast, okay? I'm not doing a travel scope here, Aiden. All right. So anyway, we got the bread done and it's going to cool off for about five minutes. We're going to take it right out and it'll be ready to go. Okay. So anyway, uh, let me get this in. Uh, it's, it's looking nice. It needs to cool off before it comes out. <laughs> LOL. I know he's, a, he's on another a, a topic altogether showing his scenery. I'm like, Aiden, Aiden, start your own scope there, you know, or broadcast, right? I'm cooking here. Let's talk. Let's keep it on the cooking cooking channel here y'all all right uh yes and the gas stations i think they should be i think they we that they never thought about that when they went to uh help yourself you know help yourself so that they can reduce the cost by not having employees so we're actually by by standing in line and checking out ourselves we're actually um telling people that that you shouldn't work that we're going to be automated all right we're, we're actually having people lose their jobs by doing our own self checkout and our self gas. We didn't, we, we it's brought in so subtly, like, you know, like let, let's pump our own gas. Now let's bag our own groceries so that one, we don't have to uh, hire these people to do this. We don't have to give them benefits because we're doing machines on here. Used to be, um, used to be, and then sell pump happened just like ATM instead of tellers and self checkout. Exactly. Exactly. And with pampered chef, they, uh, they always tell us, well, go into the bank and, and get to know your teller. And I'm like, there's really nobody in line at the banks anymore. There's nobody in line. Now there's, there's lines at the, at the drive through, but our, our, um, and this is, before, that was before COVID. Okay. Now with COVID there's definitely lines at the drive through. That's because our banks just opened up. Like my bank just opened up to go inside. Um, and here in Kingsland, the, uh, oh, was it first, it's a, it's a credit union. They just opened their, their windows, I think last week. Okay. To go inside. You agree with me, Terry? Yeah. So, uh, if you, if you can 
stand in the line. All right. If you have time, stand in that one checkout line. All right. Just to, just to show support that you don't agree with, uh, because we're just massing. We're like, oh, I'll just, you know, if you have like two or three items, yeah, just go and in it goes. But you know, when you have all that stuff in the cart, this is another thing. All right. I'm going off topic here. When you're grocery shopping, all right, you touch that one item. All right, here, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy this. I bought this the other day. We look at it on the shelf and we're like, oh, that looks really good. All right. I'm going to put this in my basket. That's one. We got to put it from the basket onto the conveyor belt. That's two. Now at Aldi's, she scans it and she puts it back into the basket, into your basket. That's 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 not me. Um, and then at all these, I have to go over to the other counter, put put it back up and put it into my um, into my carry out bag. OK, so that's three. Then I have to carry it. Then it's in my basket. I have to get my my bags that are in the, in the cart into my car. That's four. Then from my car into my house, that bag, I got to do five. Then we get the bag and we open up our bag. That's six. We had, we open up our bag, we put it on the countertop, and we're like, oh, where do I want to put this? I want to put this over in my cabinet. That's seven. So to, to touch this thing, we touch this box seven times, at least seven times before we actually use it. Okay. From the time we see it on our countertop, we touch this thing. And so when your kids come in, they're like, mom, why are you tired? You're like, let me tell you a story. I went grocery shopping today. I had to touch this box. One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven. And now you want me to cook it? <laughs> this should be Alexis comedy show right here. All right. Someone has, has me to make those self-service. Uh, what's a computer? Self, someone still has to make those self-service computers. Oh yeah. They still have to make them, but the machines are making them over in China. So <laughs> where do you think they're coming from? Uh, used to be then. Okay. Uh, let me see. The bank by me has one teller and one long line security direct pot directs direct people's ATMs and stand in line secure. Oh, they, they tell them to go. Wow. Wow. Mary. <laughs> so they really are pushing for people to shop online and have home delivery. Yes. D bitsy. They are. They, um, I don't do any, the only one I use for delivery for food is, uh, every plate. And I do have an every bite, uh, every plate box coming this week. Okay. And, uh, I know, uh, um, uh, Captain Rehab, Dave, he actually bought an every plate box because he thought about it. He goes, that is more economical than, than bringing it home. It's every, all, everything's there. So the every plate um, is a, is a very good subscription service. If you don't want to go out and buy individual, like a whole thing of say vinegar, a whole thing of sour cream, because you're not going to use it, especially if you're one or two people in your house, you know how stuff gets old in your refrigerator. And, like you have to look at the expiration date before you use it. Like, Oh man, I haven't used this. This is expired like two months ago. So uh, the every plate is a really good service. If you want like, you don't want to buy the whole thing. If you want to try a different type of food and cook it at home, it's it's a great food plan to be on. Otherwise, I still, when I tried to, I did try to do the groceries online, but I couldn't figure it out, y'all. I tried Walmart and, and, and Publix, and I'm like, man, it was easier for me to go in and go up and down the aisle because I am like this. I like to touch and feel and look at it and look at the expiration date on my stuff because uh, even captain reset have said well the one time it, it could have been a fluke hey you're back yeah we don't we don't you can do a travel scope we're doing a food scope here so anyway um sorry but that's and, and my bread came out we have to wait until it cools off so you can see it on there <laughs> welcome back says uh d bitsy hello cheryl fraser so anyway um <sighs> I forgot where I was going. Y'all got me off topic here. All right. So anyway, touching groceries, go in line. If there's a person there, stand in that line because then you're standing up for somebody's job. Okay. And if they see that there's all that many people, like Publix is still pretty good. They have maybe four, they have four self checkouts. They have an express line and then they have about five other uh, in-person checkout things. But when you're doing a big grocery load and you're at Walmart and some people have like $200, $300 grocery bills. I, I see I'm like, oh my God, you're t you have to take it out and then put it in, stack it on that one little thing. And it's that's a mess. Just put it on a conveyor belt and let them do it for you. You know, at least good grief, y'all. Uh, yes, relay and relabels. Yeah, because the expiration date does count, y'all. I don't know what this one is. This one's August um, 9th, uh, August 19th, 2021 on here. But there are certain labels, all right? And and look at your milk, 
All right. Milk is a really good one because sometimes that you have to like, you want the one with the, with the furthest away date on it. So it stays longer in your house, especially if you're one or two people in your house and things don't go uh, as quick as you think. Uh, and always check your pantry at least once a month or every other month, at least every other month for stuff that's going to be expired because the food pantry will not accept expired food. Okay. They do not. So don't, don't do that y'all. Okay. Uh, you eat it up. All right. Read labels exactly. Read labels. All right. Oh, my coffee's cold, but it's still good. Okay. All right. So we have our my pan. And I'm trying to see if this is coming out yet. Let's see, it's still hot, but I want to try and get it out. I have it on my cooling rack. Okay. So when something comes out of your oven on your baked goods, you definitely need a cooling rack. If you do not have a cooling rack, please purchase from, from, um, the pampered chef one. This is well worth its weight in gold. I usually actually, actually use it on my shelves to elevate stuff and I can put stuff down here and elevate on top because all this stuff here is real estate space. And when you elevate stuff on your countertops, you can put more stuff down here. Okay. Like I used to have this right here and I put my quick slice down here and bring it out and slice it it makes a great elevation thing okay that makes a great shop all right i'm going to try and flip this over i need to get a a towel or something how can i flip this here we can we can use this this washes really well this washes super easy okay good morning unverified user thank you for the high five award all right so we're going to flip this over let me see if it it came out y'all oh came out and that's nice that's still hot and i want to put it on my on my thing let's flip this over oh nice it is nice and hot you see how nice and golden brown the outside this whole thing is it's because we use a nice stoneware pan okay and we want it to look like that all right let's flip this back over i can clean i could just put this in the blush out of my sink all right and now we have our bread that we made up all right and nothing better than waking up to a um nice banana um apple a quick bread. Okay. We just have to let it cool down and I can slice it for my mom, but I made it in the, and it's, this is still really hot y'all. Um, I made it in the stoneware. Oops, that almost got wind in my coffee y'all. All right. So this is in the stoneware pan. All right. It's by Pampered Chef. Stoneware line is a totally different type of baking line than regular um, metal pans. All right. It makes a nice, it cooks evenly. All right. Um, it's just, it's just a totally different way of cooking. The only thing about stoneware, you have to have at least 75%. The majority of your surface majority, uh, is not 51%. It is about 75 to 80% needs to be covered. All right. And this is the nice little pan and the new stoneware can be preheated. So you can get a nice crispy crust on your pizza and, um, or your calzones, whatever you want to cook it in. All right. Um, I'm just leaving it right there like that. Okay. Good morning there, Aspie. How are you doing? Got to run. Work day. Good morning, Mary and Melanie Faye. My rack doesn't have those legs. Uh, yeah, these legs actually elevated up. Some of the racks uh, are smaller. They don't have legs, and then they sit down here. There's not as much air coming up uh, on here. That's just elevating it off of your surface. There's no air coming in to cool this off, so it'll be sweating down there, all right? When you have the longer legs and the these racks, they actually stack up on top of each other. So I can put another rack on here and we can stack up like this, all right, on, on the Pampered Chef um, ones. But it does have a lot more space right here and there's a lot more airflow. Because you, when, you, when you use a cooling rack, you want it to cool, have all the air down here. Otherwise, if you leave it on the bottom, it's sweating and then you get that sweat marks, all right? And they get damp and moist and your stuff that's supposed to be crispy gets soggy okay so that's why you need a cooling rack somewhere to land your hot stuff all right and put your stuff on and if you're a baker you probably need at least four sets of these they're not four four sets like four of them all together all right because you have usually two cooling off two you know you know rotating it all right so anyway uh the bread's done y'all and it smells so good yeah can't wait till my mom gets up and sees this. I got confused when I saw you on Aiden's channel <laughs> yeah Aiden as uh Ada was out and about and wanted to come in and say hello. Okay. He was, he was on his way back from having a cup of coffee. All right. Got to run. All right. So anyway, I appreciate everybody coming in. We're a little bit late. We're about 20 minutes after. I'm going to take this off and, and turn our camera. Oops. I did it again. Oops. There we go. Ah, there we go. All right. So flip this around and we're going to do our, our final picture. Let me see. Let me get that in there like that. 
and do our final pick. Pick. All right. So we went over a lot of stuff today. We did an egg in our ten and tri pan with the lid from the uh, five and a quarter cup, four, five and a half cup stock stock pot. All right. Uh, I showed you the um, um, what is that? The cold brew coffee pitcher using the new um, these tea blooms. All right. And I also came over here. We have my soup on. It's in on for an hour. We have It's on the slow cook thing. This is on the quick cooker, but we're using the slow cook function on here. And it's going to make some great stock for our soup tomorrow. All right. And then we made our apple cinnamon bread. All right. There's our apple cinnamon bread. And we are ready to go. I'm all done for the day. <laughs> all right. Got to go. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Let me see if I can angle this a little bit better so I can get the... There we go. Let's put that there. There, that's that's looking better. All right. So thanks for coming in, everybody. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Have a great Wednesday. I'll see you on somebody else's broadcast. Wow. Yeah, we did a lot on this broadcast, y'all. This is this is just not uh, just cooking. It's telling you about your kitchen tools. I am a Pamper Chef consultant. And the link is in my profile, but I'll put it right here. You can actually purchase all these tools that you saw today right there. All right. If you want to see a party link, Here's the uh, link party. Let me see. D E gets that one there. There's the other one. You can actually look at a, a Pamper Chef party. Okay. I can only sell inside the United States, but all orders are appreciated. We have a big goal to go through. And uh, I know you want to have some great tools in your kitchen because great tools is the start of a, a good chef. You got to start somewhere. So uh, buy, buy now, buy quality stuff. So you don't have to keep on repurchasing the same thing over and over again. All right. So thank you and have a great day, everybody. Bye.